Settle down. <laughs> What's up? Isn't there a way to save the login on this game? Many of the... I don't care. There's upgrade slots. <laughs> so funny over there. What is tickled your fancy? Just looking at my character, all in black with the Jesus sandals. I told you, you look hobo ninja! The account slot bundle costs 500 credits and gives you plus 3 character slots, plus 40 account stash slots, plus 10 market setting slots, plus 10 private. Okay. I'm gonna create a server now. North American server B, and the lobby again is gonna be called Settle Down. Password is going to be Doof. So settle Down. And you should be able to join when red. Oh shit, man, you're you're on top of crap. It says they're already joined. Wow. Oh, it's Hobo Ninja. Did they change this again? They did, didn't they? Wow, they're just Die in here. throwing us around. <coughs> or shouldn't even eat more. God damn it! God damn it! You shouldn't have eaten anymore. Is that what you said? Shut up! I'm not talking to you. You, you're talking <laughs> at me. <laughs> oh, you're almost level five, so I can almost travel out. I need to buy some drink. How long can this go on? Food, drink. I see. Diet soda. My item. There's two people in here, one with a man bun. That probably have quests for us. You probably wear a man bun nowadays. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, death how, to man buns. How long has it been since you you well since, I know that you were here last year or but we didn't we didn't get to see each other then. But um how long have has it been since we saw each other? That that get together at your brothers, right? I think that was the last time? When Roddy Piper recently passed away? No, your brother's What's wedding. It? Yeah. Man bun. <laughs> this fucker dude really does have a man bun. It's a uh, tale of the times. It's so hungry. <laughs> Business partner on search for some supplies. Makes sense. We have to find this girl. Sarah's Diner in Dalbo. Okay, so that's here. So we have a new quest here. So I guess since they changed things again, I almost feel like I'm in some kind of Twilight Zone game. Every time I log in, the, the settings and the quest givers have changed. What can I do have? for you? Yes, he does. Another one in Coopertown. What? And it wipe it wipes out the mission log from the previous missions. That's what I told you last time. No, you didn't. But again, you never listen. You're not important enough to listen to. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't remember you telling me this. That's because you never listen. You're too busy babbling. I'm the important one. I miss the sun. Import my ass. What's the use? <laughs> Help will come. Who's on right? Now? So is that just because they, they updated or is it is it going to be a, a thing every time no matter what where if we log out and we don't do the, a, a certain quest we're going to have to re-pick it up each time? I don't know. Every time I've joined it, it's always reset like that. Well luckily at least it's not getting rid of my stuff. Yeah, it, it keeps our stats and all that but it looks like the mission reset which kind of makes sense because in, if this were, were semi-real the people 
may or may not stay or come and go. <coughs> I don't think it's semi-real that the buildings warp around us, though. <laughs> so I guess we gotta go into these other rooms again and pick up these other quests, because I know there's quest givers around. Like, well, I don't see anybody in here. There's a guy, Brian, or a girl, Brian Rodriguez. Uh huh. Days ago, Father Abraham, King Archbrook, <coughs> off the camp. You're gonna die up there. I wonder if they've, a they've added anything to these rooms. It doesn't appear to be. No, it's just another empty room. Alright, so let's not do the whole search the whole of the police station again. Nobody in here either. I thought this room, the big double door. This this engine that this game is running on really strikes me. That I, I wonder what engine this game runs off of. But it does strike me as almost like design for horror games. Because just the lighting, the ambiance, everything about it just screams. No pun intended with the screaming lady outside, but just screams horror game. No, I just went back to the main lobby. You got the one from Brianna Rodriguez, right? Correct. Okay, I'm gonna check in here. I'll let you know if there's anything in here. There's people. Yes, there are. There's people in here. Anderson right, and he does have... This is tell. This guy needs a wedding ring. What are you after? Archbrook blood samples. This is the one we had gotten last time. Die out there. So I see another one of those parasites. I'm gonna puke. So I wonder if this is like, if the cause of the outbreak is those parasites, kind of like in uh, The Last of Us with the cordyceps. <coughs> you know, cordyceps is a real thing, right? Mm, yeah. Like it infects ants and spiders and certain insects. It's actually really freaky what it does to bugs, if you've ever seen it. Like it infects insects' <laughs> brains and then it starts growing like a fungus out of their bodies, out of their corpses. It's pretty creepy. Kind of makes them a zombie for a little it, bit. Essentially, yeah. yes. <coughs> which, make, which makes sense, you know, as far as the, the game goes. But theirs is just the cordyceps that affects humans. There's more people in this room as well. The one that I just went uh -huh. to. They have quests. Archbrook clear, clear the streets of infected. It's not safe here. Cooperstown blood samples. Yeah, this chick's got a looks. What looks like a pump action shotgun. She should give me that. What do you want? Was there an upstairs last time? I know we I know we, we, we saw a double downstairs, but I didn't see an upstairs. Right? Mm, I don't remember. I, I remember the basement. I don't think there was a top. No, this, this goes up. It doesn't seem like there's anything up here. No, it seems pretty empty, but there's a lootable desk. Some rifle rounds. Where'd you go? Oh, you went upstairs? Yeah, I went upstairs and then took take a left. This room that I just came out of, there's a lootable desk in there. I'll be able to find something useful. I'm gonna check these other rooms while you're checking in there. Man, this place is just a labyrinth. You could you could spend the, a game session just checking out every single door in this game or every single room in this in the police station. <laughs> the thing is, I'm not really interested in doing that because there's nothing to kill or fight. Yeah, you keep doing it. I'm looking for quest givers. Because they're scattered all over the place, but I think I think we got the main clusters. Usually, there, those are about three clusters, right, of quest givers. 
and then that's about it. Yeah. I just drank diet soda. I'm thirsty again. Better buy some something. Um, I have an extra the rest of us. A superior baseball hat. It does five percent surprise damage. I am a superior baseball hat. Correct. What does it do? Surprise damage. Five percent surprise damage. Uh, uh, mine's a rare baseball hat. I'll I'll keep mine. Thank you though. I appreciate it, but no, it's a little better. I have a superior shirt. It's color blue. It's one percent incoming uh, damage. <laughs> I guess minus one percent. Yeah, less yeah. less damage. It's I minus one percent incoming damage. Minus one percent attack speed. Minus one percent aim speed. Minus four percent radiation chance. You you're reading almost everything that mine has, but mine also has plus four in, in inventory capacity. And less three percent infection chance. And mine's a rare. So gotcha. uh, thank you though. I appreciate the offer. Yeah. Um, How long can this go on? Uh, uh, I'm looking for food, I'm gonna buy some something to eat. <laughs> and everything is oh there's something there. Twenty eight dollars, not too bad. Thirty five. <laughs> That and it, it um, undoes it if you're drunk. Sounds like I'm sipping on a cup of coffee. Alright, so I'm for the most part hydrated and, and fed. I'm barefoot. <coughs> but I'm ready to go. Are you we, sure? We were in Watchmen Legal Inc. or something, wasn't it? Yeah. See if Dalbo's changed. Dalbo. Yeah, it has. Look, there's a new place called Sarah's Diner. So more than likely, everything that was in that place has respawned. And we have a new quest in this area anyway, so I say we focus on that. Sarah's Diner. Danielle, Gera, alive or found e find evidence of her death. I'd like to see one of these characters that we find alive. We've been finding nothing but evidence of death. It'd be cool to find one of these characters alive and do like an escort quest or something. So let's let's away to Sarah's diner. I think the next uh, spec that I get, or the next point that I get, I'm gonna try, try to unlock that kick. Let's see how useful it is. Do you have the kick unlocked yet? No. I'm gonna unlock it, see how useful it is. That should be just like a little freaking 
like kicking a stone on the ground or something like that kick. On the other hand, I should be like a freaking Chuck Norris roundhouse. Ice coffee. Wait, what? Ice coffee in a trash can? <laughs> Don't have a heart attack. <laughs> Settle down. But I'm serious! Iced, iced coffee! Settle down. Out of a trash can. Beggars you can be cheated I'm not zombie. talking about being a beggar, I'm talking about how the hell do you find iced coffee? If anything, it was just coffee. How the hell is it still iced? Well, if you want, you can all tab out, write an angry email to oh the developers. Oh my god, I don't... Do I sound that petty? <laughs> iced coffee! Iced coffee! I'm losing my mind over this iced coffee! <laughs> Do we get a look? Uh, uh, hey! Look, look, look. look what's going on. <laughs> There's no hope for us. Wait, this isn't the... Girl, though? It's a different quest giver. Yeah. But still, that gives me hope that maybe we'll find this other girl alive. You're not gonna throw a rant about that? I, I don't rant. Ice coffee. I'm just saying that it wouldn't be ice. That's all I'm. That's all I'm saying. Let's go into that other room first. Is there? There's a couple of doors we can use. So let's do the little one, and then the big double doors, and then the locked one. It's just like finding milk on a zombie. How the hell is gonna take milk on a zombie? How the hell are you gonna find iced coffee? Iced coffee in a trash can. I'm not saying you can't find coffee. It's not gonna be iced anymore. That's all I'm saying. That's the only thing I'm saying. Would it kill you to agree with me? And say, you know what, you've got a point. And I heard. I, I found this iced coffee on a zombie. Some more ice coffee. Yes, on a zombie. Man, there must be freezing. Must be like the middle of December in Minnesota or something. Because shoot, the, the coffee stays cold. All right, I'm I'm done talking about the iced coffee. Are you sure? Yes, I found some orange juice now. I have nothing to say. I'm ready to move. One sec. Like a... Ninja hobo. Okay, I'm good. Nice, so now we're doing the big double doors. You know, I, I know I said I was done talking about the iced coffee, but I will say this. Uh, it's it's a good testament to the devs of this game if the biggest complaint I have is that I find iced coffee in trash cans and on zombies. If that's my biggest complaint, I'd say that's, you know, the mark of a good game, wouldn't you? <laughs> I could have found other things to complain about, but my biggest gripe is that I'm finding iced coffee in trash and on zombies and, and milk. I found an ID card, did you find that as well? Yes. I think that's the evidence. Most likely. Uh, Daniel, yeah, that's the one. Was that the one? Yeah. Wait a minute! 
What? The what? How the hell are they getting in here? This lady is right. This lady is ushering them in or something. She's like, they're right in there, boys. What the? How are they ignoring her? She's one of them. Anyway, mission log. Yeah, so we got that. All right, so we did get the gold key, if I'm not mistaken. This most likely gonna be a boss battle in here, maybe. There's a radiation one. Far. All right, shot her. I'm gonna focus on that one. Watch out for her parasites. They're coming after me, I can see one. Smile, you son of a... The shadow made it look like she was waving at me. A rare Ivanov. Ooh. You got a rare iron pipe. ACP. What kind of guns do you have? A lot. You have various guns? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, no. since, since I have a shotgun, I was going to offer you the, this pistol. One sec. Because I haven't been using the pistols too much. Plus, I already have another I can give you one of them. Let's get over here in this corner over here. Do you have a decent pistol? Yes. It's a... Superior... Pistol? I have two rare pistols. I can, I'd be willing to give you one if you want. Let's go over here real quick. Because this, this lady wards off the zombies somehow. Alright, let's see. More accuracy. One says more surprise damage. These are both actually pretty decent pistols. Are they? Yeah. Here, come here. How do I trade again? Let's see. Offer items. Offer. Let's see. Wait, do you have ACP rounds? The bullets? Yeah. And if, if so, how I many? I believe I do. Because I'm gonna. Because I, I actually I was gonna give you the, all the bullets, but I I have a, a rare pistol that needs them as well. So if you have bullets, I'll let you have the gun. <laughs> oh crap! That I works. Mean, I didn't mean to cra cancel the whole thing. Hang on. I think I grabbed the pistol. Oh, you got the pistol? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on the pistol rounds. Okay. Is that pistol any good for you? Check you. It's rare, which should be better quality than, than superior. Yeah, it's better than what I have. Cool. 
Alright, let's go. There was one. one. to three and then go oh. There's nothing in here. What a chip. Something searchable's over here. There's oh. Again you never paying attention. <laughs> Big beans. What'd you get? Uh shotgun shells. If you do not need the baked beans, I'll trade you the shells for the baked beans. <laughs> that is a very apocalyptic thing to say. <laughs> I will trade you some shotgun shells for a handful of them there beans. <laughs> <laughs> that was not <laughs> good for my... You okay uh, there? I need to quit smoking. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I don't smoke. <clears throat> I should start and then quit. Um, where the hell are those big beans? They're bushes too. All right, <clears throat> so there you got your baked beans. Yes. So, do I close the window or what? Yeah. And I offered you the shells. Did you get them? There we go. Yes, I got them now. Cool. Cool. should do we should make a movie where like two major crazy events happen of two completely different genres all at once like imagine a zombie apocalypse break out during a machine uprising now wouldn't that be cool suddenly the AIs take over and all of it at the same time in a different part of the country you know there's a there's a virus that's attacking humans and you know basically you know, turning them into zombies. Everything, all, all, everything that the AIs know about humans suddenly stops being true because zombies don't act anything like humans. And then you have Terminators versus zombies. Now there is a movie that I would pay to see. Now there, that's all right. I gotta write that story. Terminators versus zombies. There's one movie that I saw that did that, and I think it's underrated, and that was Aliens um, versus Cowboys versus Aliens. Have you ever seen that movie? The, yeah, yeah, I saw it. They should do more stuff like that. <coughs> I'm trying to remember where this quest was, the quest giver. 
Well, there's somebody it's, I think at the end. I think it's, it's over just here. The woman. It's not. It's not this lady. Who are we turning this to? Uh, travel to Sarah's diner. Danielle, get alive. Sean Barnett. Isn't that the guy from the Motel 6 commercials? I'm Sean Barnett. We'll leave the line on for you. Oh no, wait, that's awesome. Tom no, that's Tumble Dead. It's no. so here, it's man bun. Man bun. <laughs> hey, man hey. bun. How close am I to leveling? Ooh, I'm, I'm a ways away. <clears throat> Alright, so that wraps up another quest.